Crazy Crust Apple Pie looked to be a very quick and simple way to make a pie in a very short amount of time. Or at least I thought that until I looked at the actual amount of time it takes to bake this thing, but it's a recipe in the cookbook, so here we are on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. To make this crazy crust apple pie, we're first going to start with the crust. And you're going to need yourself a small mixer bowl, and into that you're going to combine one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon salt, one tablespoon sugar, one egg, two thirds cup shortening, and three fourths cup of water. And you get yourself a hand mixer and mix that together for about two minutes until well blended. Next, you're gonna get yourself a nine inch wide by one and one quarter inch pie pan. Pour that right into it. Next, in a separate bowl, you're going to take one can of apple pie filling, which is about one pound, five ounces, one tablespoon lemon juice, one half teaspoon apple pie spice or cinnamon. Mix that all together. Then you're going to pour that right into the middle of your pie crust batter. Do not stir as much as you want to stir. As you see me struggle here, don't stir. Then you're going to put it into a 425 degree oven and bake for 45 to 50 minutes. And voila, crazy crust apple pie. I let it cool for a little bit and then I had a taste and I got to tell you that the uh, crust ain't great. Uh, it's a great base to start with, but honestly, there really is not much in the way of flavor with this thing. If you added maybe some vanilla in there, maybe a bit more sugar, it would uh, bring some flavor to it because essentially it's just pie crust filling and then kind of a watery bread underneath. But that's this week's Grandma's Cookbook. Go out and try it yourself. Or maybe even tweak it a bit. Either way, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week with some more cooking from Grandma's book.